Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. I'm using the Surface Go 2, and I'm going to do a really quick test of uh, ZBrush. This is ZBrush Core 2021.3. This is the 8 gigabyte M3 model of the Surface Go. Uh, in preferences, I have multi, uh, multi draw and max threads set down to three, multi draw on, and this uh, helps with some lag that occurs in ZBrush on certain tablets. All right, that said, uh, let's go ahead and look into it. So here you can see navigation, moving around, zooming in and out. Uh, this is the artist pad from Tablet Pro for those who are unaware. All right, so let's go ahead and draw on the model using clay buildup. The uh, R520 uh, two button stylus, so this one is a race, which means I can do this, which is really cool. Let's go ahead and smooth. And let's see if we can actually increase this. Okay, so it's maxed out on poly count. I never know what to do here. Okay, double click. So to me, it seems um, like it's performing well. Uh, pressure is reading correctly, which is wonderful. I'm really glad that uh, there was some recent changes uh, in ZBrush in order to include pressure. If you guys have questions on how to set this up, uh, feel free to ask or watch the other ZBrush video I made earlier this year. It'll show you. All right, so what things do you guys still need to know about ZBrush and how it performs here? If you guys have a model or a link to a model that you want me to run in ZBrush and see how it performs, um, please go ahead and put that um, in the description or email me at justice at tabletpro.com and that way I can, I can check it and I can put up a follow-up video or tell you how it performs. All right, I think that's it. Um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you have a tablet, use Windows 10, uh, or use a stylus. I think it's a great channel for you to be subscribed to. Lots of good information here. All right, until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.